whoa uh, that was not planned welcome back to another vlog today is going to be a different type of vlog i've been wanting to do this for a really long time and today i finally got the chance to do it uh, i've been watching this new netflix show i don't know if you've seen it but it's called maria kondo is she goes to people's houses that have saved so many different items throughout the year and they need someone to come and tidy up their house and help them organize so her expertise i would say is organizing people's lives she goes into these houses she tells people to take all the items they want to get rid of, put them all in a big stack, and then one by one go through the items and hold them close to you and say, do I love you? Do I really love you? And if you love the item, you keep it. And if you don't feel that connection with the item, you get rid of it. So I'm gonna hopefully do that today. I think I love every single item that I have, but I might be surprised, I might not, I don't know we're just gonna go on this experience together and see what happens and i have to warn you i have a lot of clothes i don't know why i don't know what how it's like just stacked up throughout the years but i have so many clothes and whenever i go out i always complain that i have nothing to wear i don't know how it's gonna go i hope it goes well i hope i actually finish in one day in a few hours i have i've put like a goal of finishing this in a few hours but let's see I'm gonna basically, I'm gonna put the camera down, get all my clothes, throw them on the floor, and then we'll start the process of elimination. want to stop and look through what I've put but like the rule is that you have to put every single thing so I actually need to put every single thing they're all stacked on on my couch as you can see they're all there and all there um, I'm gonna start the process of elimination and hopefully I can do it hopefully I can get rid of more than half of these things and give them away to charity. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Stay tuned. with the situation it's been i think around four hours it's night time right now and i'm still not even done look where i've got to two thousand years later so the other day definitely did not go as planned i thought it would take me maybe two hours three hours max but it took me around six and a half hours to organize everything and i didn't do it on my own i got help i had at least four people come help me so just a tip for whoever's planning on doing this and cleaning out their closet keep in mind it might take a while but honestly in the end it's going to be worth it once the main stage is done which is cleaning out your closet eliminating the things you don't want you put them on one side maybe pack them in a suitcase one or two or depending on how many clothes you decided you don't want is to immediately act on it don't leave it in a corner of your house and just forget about it like that week do something about it basically my advice is first flea market second donate third maybe find some great initiative happening in your area and uh, be part of that be part of the greater good being environmentally friendly recycling clothes giving back to the community giving back to the world giving back to the universe and being absolutely a great person so on route to the flea market keep you guys posted Less people are here, so it's a bit quiet. So I was able to vlog, but so far it's great. It's so nice. You get to meet new people, you get to bargain. It's a new type of experience, and I highly recommend it. Joining the team market. And my friend Patu is here. She has really cool stuff. All brand new, right? Yep. 
most of the things have been sold still selling them probably gonna sell them for a cheaper price now since they're closing but it's so much fun that's the update so that's step one of what you can do when you clean out your closet go to a flea market sell what you can whatever is left whatever it wasn't bought that's when you go and give it to people that might need it donate it find a shelter wherever you find close to you that or someone you might know might need it so whatever doesn't sell in the flea market that's when you get rid of it just give it for free A2. so the next thing that I'm gonna do is go to this thrift shop so another thing you could do is find a thrift shop in your area and go there so I found a very unique thrift shop can't even say that word but thrift shop in Abu Dhabi where they take clothes it's a non-profit thrift shop um, they take clothes from you you donate clothes to them and they have usually have to be in good condition and then they sell these clothes uh, to whoever wants to buy them and the money they make off of the sales they donate it to students in order to support them for their education university education which is a great concept so right now we're in muscle city trying to find the thrift shop to go give them some of the clothes that we have that we cleaned out of my closet so finally we found the store i just got here they have so many beautiful things prices are amazing they have chanel bags they're, they're selling and keep in mind everything they sell here is non-profit so everything goes for education towards the students uh, university. I highly recommend coming here, buying from here, giving clothes to here. It's a great initiative and any thrift store really. Just going to there, going to their store and just giving your clothes is a great way to clean out your closet. And if you find a thrift store that's a non-profit, it's even better because you're actually giving back to the community. For whoever's in Abu Dhabi, make sure you check out Lahum. Lahum means for them. So give clothes to get, educate someone else great concept i love it check out the store place it was in a mall it was great but I wanted you guys just to see it and get an idea of how it's like check it out and if it's a place that has a initiative even better always do something with a great cause like a strong supporter of sustainability and the environment and taking care of mother earth if you follow me on my social medias you'll understand more why it's a really important subject that we really need to go look into um, for those who want to like have a more fun outlook or global warming and climate change and what's going on with our world i recommend checking out this video i can't remember the name but it's from little dicky and the video i think the video is called i love earth i'm not sure but i'm going to leave the video in the description below check it out just to get a a better insight about Advisor what's happening to our world the roundabout oh the second exit google map to the next Street location i'm going to show you another thing you can do when you want to get rid of all your clothes we are finally at the last stop and it's a donation box so they have these around the city this one is make a wish donation you can donate what you want so i have a lot of clothes to donate so i'm going to put it in the box and yeah that's another way the simple way to donate clothes It feels great to like just donate things. It's such an accomplishment. I feel so good. Trust me, once you do it, you feel good getting rid of things that you don't need anymore in your life and you feel good because you're giving to someone that needs it more than you do. 
So I highly recommend anyone to do this. And you're saving the environment. You're recycling clothes. Everything should be recycled. Everything, even clothes. Thrift shops. Ooh, thrift shops are a great concept. Donating clothes, great concept. Borrowing clothes, great concept. Why? Because you're recycling clothes and you're not wasting. Wasting is the worst kind of thing that you can do. Who is useful? Whoever is going through a dilemma of getting rid of clothes they don't need. Hope this was helpful to whoever is trying to get rid of their clothes and don't know how to do it. I on, I know I suffered for many years about with this problem of having too many clothes, not knowing what to do with it. One, you've cleaned out your room to allow new energy to come in. Two, you've, you've given out good energy to the world by giving to those in need. I know I'm sounding so like, I don't know, hipster, but it's true. You're doing something better for yourself, for the world, for the community, for someone you don't even know. You have no idea. It's, it's a beautiful domino effect. And trust me, just the fact that you give away things, it makes you feel so much better. I feel amazing. And make sure you check out the link in the description talking about how we need to save Mother Earth. Make sure you, of course, subscribe, but make sure you recycle, reuse, and what's the third one? Recycle, reuse, and something else. It's three R's. I can't remember. But anyways, use the three R's and subscribe to my channel. I hope you like this video. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you to all the people that have subscribed. It really means the world to me. And thank you for everyone that likes and comments. It really means a lot. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Bye.